What is the source of this patient's lower back pain? Today I have an interesting one. I have a 38 year old female who presents to me as a second opinion for her lower back pain. She had an SI joint fusion, she's had a lumbar laminectomy, and then ended up having a spinal stimulator for what was diagnosed as failed back syndrome that also didn't help. Her pain is pretty isolated. When she points out her pain, she states it's just right here. I'm only going to show you the x-rays on this one because you can easily diagnose her problem on just the x-ray, which many doctors have already missed. We can see the SI joint hardware as well as a spinal stimulator, which again, both didn't help her. So what are we missing here? How many of you can make the diagnosis? Stay tuned tomorrow. I'll go through the diagnosis, treatment, and the full explanation. Have a great week. Why does this patient have lower back pain? So let's go through the answers of the case study I presented yesterday of this 38 year old female who sought me for a second opinion for lower back pain. She's had this lower back pain for years. She's had an SI joint fusion. She's had a lumbar laminectomy, multiple injections, extensive physical therapy, and even a spinal cord stimulator, all without benefit. Here we see her SI joint surgery and her stimulator. And I told you guys that we could point it out on this x-ray. When she explains her lower back pain, she has point tenderness right over the right side. And so many doctors have missed this problem, but did they listen to her? She's literally pointing where her pain is. The answer is right here. She has Bertolotti syndrome, which is where the L5 transverse process can form a pseudo-articulation with the sacrum. Now, what in the world does that mean in English, please? If we look at the anatomy of the lumbar spine, then I can tell you exactly what the problem is. So in our lumbar spine, we have five vertebrae, and each vertebrae has these transverse processes, which is where the muscles attach to our spine. If we look at the L5, the L5 transverse process comes very close to our sacrum. And in her case, it actually pushes on the sacrum. Up to 7% of people with lower back pain has this finding on x-ray. And in the words of Lady Gaga, these patients were born this way. Now there are many types of lumbar transitional vertebrae, and these are all the types seen here. Our patient has this type where you can see where the L5 transverse process forms a pseudo joint with the sacrum. And over time, that bone on bone grinding right there hurts and causes pain. Why did it get missed for so long? If you don't take an x-ray or you don't look at it on x-ray, you will miss it. And I've found that many people have been misdiagnosed. Now that we've diagnosed her, how do we treat it? She's had physical therapy, but we could also try some injections or even radiofrequency ablation and other treatments directly into that joint to see if that works. If these conservative treatment options fail, the patient may be a candidate for surgery. Surgical treatment for Bertolotti syndrome is sometimes debated and some surgeons treat it with fusion and some surgeons treat it with removal of the transverse process itself. In my opinion, the surgical decision making really boils down to the patient's age and any degenerative changes around that segment. She's young, so I wanted to preserve her mobility. We can go in through a small incision and just remove that so it ends up looking like this. She did great from the surgery and we even removed her spinal cord stimulator. Stay tuned next week and I'll go through another case.